Today on the Philly Tall Podcast, we got to break down this matchup. I think this battle in training camp is going to be epic, and the winner of it is going to deserve it. Cam Jurgen, second-year man, versus rookie Tyler Steen, who, by the way, a top 15 pick, shouted him out. We'll get into all that. Plus, we talk about Kavon Wallace's tweet about no missed tackles. And last but not least, Adam Schefter just put out a little sneak peek about the schedule. We already knew this, but the schedule drops May 11th. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see, we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Tall Podcast. And today we got to get talking about this battle. I think it's going to be epic. And at this point, I don't know who's going to win. I see a scenario where both these guys finish with the job. Whoever does get it, though, is going to be the right man for the job. Before we get into it, help your boy out and hit that like button. Y'all been killing it. Subscribe if you are new and ding the bell so you know when we go live, drop videos. Also, four more shirts bought this morning. We got the red ones, the black ones, the oversized, the Kelly green, gray, white, and pink for the females. Link will be in the description and or the pink comment section. Get yours. Again, I don't think we're going to sell out, but you never know. Y'all been supporting every day. A couple more. Get the shirts. Now, who do you think? This is a May guess i have no idea i need to see how cam jurgens looks next to kelsey and next to lane by the way happy birthday lane johnson <laughs> one of the best tackles in the game i'm talking left and right doesn't matter he's one of the best who do y'all think is going to get the start or not nah, jeff stoutland like both these guys cam jurgens our future center tyler steen our future right tackle both are going to play for the right guard spot. Now, Tyler Steen seems more of the physical guy. Fall forward. We know Cam Jurgens is that Kelsey S type player where he loves to get to the second level. I see both these guys fitting very well. Mind you, whoever does start got Kelsey on one side and Lane on the other. So their job is going to be easier. But who do you think starts now? I can't tell you, but I will say I'm intrigued by both these guys, and I'm surprised this was said. Shout out to Thomas R. Peterson. Go follow him on Twitter. Jets' 15th overall pick, defensive end Will McDonald, said in a press conference that Tyler Steen was the best offensive tackle he faced. Again, top 20 pick called Tyler Steen. The 65th overall pick, the Benz offensive lineman he played. Now, Will McDonald got some bend. The Jets know how to pick defensive players. He went higher than what I thought he was going to go. But I believe in Joe Douglas. I believe what the Jets do over there. They know how to pick defensive players. They got Sauce Garner, right? They had multiple all-pro defensive players. They can't pick quarterbacks in the draft, but they got Aaron Rodgers for that. Will McDonald stamping him as the best offensive lineman. Coming from Alabama, he knows Landon Dickerson. We hit on that second and third round picks as it pertains to offensive linemen. Landon Dickerson looks good. We didn't see Cam Jurgens besides the preseason. He looks good. And Stoutland co-signs this one. What style of play do we want for our right side? More of a second level? More of a mauler? Steen's the mauler? Jurgens the second level. Both can pay dividends in this offense. I need to hear what goes on in training camp. These are high praises from the 15th overall pick. But I'm not going to act like Cam Jurgens is going to roll over. He hungry too. He wants to be the future center, but he want to play too. Second round pick, third round pick. You know the saying, iron sharpen iron. Iron sharpen iron. 
Now, I do want to talk about this real quick. I put the eye emojis and hashtag Eagles. That's all I did. I didn't say anything negative or positive about it. But K Master Lock, Kavon Wallace tweeted in response to something. Recorded zero missed tackles last year, by the way. And he put the, you know, hiding emoji. Recorded zero missed tackles last year, by the way. And the first person that comments on it says, well, how many snaps? It's not that hard to have zero missed tackles if you only play a handful of snaps. Now, I didn't go look it up. I should have looked it up. If somebody lets me know in the comment section, I greatly appreciate it. He didn't play a lot of snaps, right? You had Marcus Epps, CJ Garner-Johnson, Paul Reed got in front of him. So he was the fourth guy on the depth chart. Mind you, just today, we released uh, Andre Chachere, safety slash special teamer. We just waived Andre Chachere. Um, Wallace stays on the team. He does play special teams. He played better down the stretch last year. But how many snaps? I need to know how many snaps if we're talking about, you know, if we're flaunting and, and, and bragging about no missed tackles, I got to know how many snaps. At the end of the day, Reed Blankenship being an undrafted rookie free agent jumping in front of him doesn't show me that, you know, he's really a special teamer. Now, could he get better? Of course. Shoot, Geno Smith didn't start playing good quarterback until his eighth season or something like that. Um, but when you draft Sidney Brown right after Tyler Steen, when you already allow an undrafted rookie free agent to play more than you, you go out and sign Terrell Edmonds, that's your three. So once again, last year he was the fourth, this year he's the fourth, unless something happens in training camp. Turn that zero missed tackles to more snaps in training camp and preseason, and prove yourself. I do like the attitude, right? But that's it now. No more talking. A little talking is good. Get you right. Now go out there and back it up. Again, when I tweeted it, people asked me, what's your honest opinion of his skill set? Miss tackles mean nothing if you can't be where your opponent is. If you can't cover, I don't care what tackles missed or did not, or, or he didn't miss. We don't need a 15th box safety. I hear y'all. My, my uh, honest opinion is, I think he's a box safety. His cover skills is what I need to see him grow at. And so, miss tackle or not, I need to see it be consistent. And that means you got to go out there and earn snaps, which he didn't last year. I don't know if he will be able to this year because I like Reed and I like Sidney Brown. Now, let's look at this real quick. I tweeted this. Adam Schefter put it out 15 minutes ago while I'm recording this. A lot of rematches involving the best team in the NFC, and you know who that is. It starts with an E. It ends with an S. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles! Oh, by the way, follow your boy on Twitter, at Philly underscore Mike 25. We need to get them followers up, and you know how I do on Twitter nonstop. Good stuff about the Eagles and trash talk about the rest of the NFL, mainly the NFC. But look what he says. So, right, first he says this. Now official, the 2023 NFL regular season schedule will be released on Thursday, May 11th. Maybe I can get LB and a couple other content creators to go live. We can talk about it right then and there. We'll see how it transpires. But he talked about the... Bigger games. And what's the bigger games? The playoff games. This season's schedule will feature 14 playoff rematches from last season, the most in NFL history, including rematches of the Super Bowl, Chiefs-Eagles, both conference championship games, Bengals-Chiefs, 49-Eagles, 49ers-Eagles, and all four divisional games, Bengal Bills, Jags, Chiefs, Cowboys, Niners, and Giants, Eagles. But there's one team that was said a lot on there. That's the Philadelphia Eagles because we made it the furthest in the NFC. <sighs> Lost to the Chiefs by three. But we retooled the roster to have possibly a better roster going into 2023 with a window of four years 
to maximize some jewelry on the hand. Four years where we can spend on free agency, continue to hit in the draft, pay the guys that come up while Jalen Hurts delivers. While Jalen Hurts delivers. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, Eagle Nation, on the schedule. Uh, talk the playoff 14 most, uh, 14 rematches most in NFL history. Let me know your thoughts on Cam Jurgens, Tyler Steen. Let me know how you feel about Kavan Wallace. And also, if you didn't check it out, like I said, shouldn't be running out, but you never know. Hopefully tomorrow I get mine in the mail, fix the light up so I don't have to wear white tees and we can rock out Philly dogs run faster. Appreciate the love, appreciate the support. Uh, drop the muscle emoji if you got nothing else to say. You know what I mean? If you're quiet, you don't want to comment on the video, drop the muscle emoji, hit the like, subscribe, ding the bell. And uh, I believe tonight we go live on Jan. Unless I push it back to 8.30 tomorrow, got to see, got to see. It's either going to be tonight at 7 or tomorrow at 8.30. Appreciate y'all. We out.